M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Now we're looking at a few radios here. On the left we've got the R-Finder B1, the new one is the B1 Plus, and it's using DMR OIP. So DMR OIP is not using a hotspot, it links straight into Brandmeister. The way you select it on the R-Finder is, it says ROIP here on the front, so tap it and we're going to come out of that. And we're going to go into what we, what I would call hotspot mode. So we've got our hotspot here. My Alens HD1 on the right is set to the 431.550. And I'll set this one on it as well. Just I've got it in my memories anyway. So we just go to memory, select worldwide, and it will automatically switch over. I've set it in the code plug regarding on the Alens. And it, obviously the, the hotspot's already set. If we turn it up. It goes green on receive and if you TX it actually goes red and then you'll get with the R finder you'll get the green light here and the call sign here and volumes just down here and, and they're, they're both working fine now if I turn off the hotspot we're not going to get DMR on my Alens HD1 but the the R finder will but I will have to switch to ROIP does that make sense to you so when you're switching to ROIP, you're switching to this system where the internet is linking you to the Brandmeister DMR system, the internet. So I could take the antenna off, it will still work. But when we go to, uh, when we come out of that and we go into the RF module or the radio part of the R Finder, so you know, you know R Finders, they, if you buy an R Finder, they're not, they're going to cost you more than, you, you can hear them both now, I just turn one down, otherwise we get that weird echo. If you buy an eye finder, it's going to cost you more. But what do you get for that? You know, you get a nice big screen. I can hit my home button here and I can go on to Zello and I can start talking to people on Zello straight away. We've got a separate PTT here. Let's get some light on that a little bit. You can see it a bit better. Separate PTT there. The top one is for the radio. The bottom one is... For what we call the media or your, your apps you know i've got other apps on here as well scroll up things like echo link we can download peanut you know the users echo link there come for i've actually set it up today you you need to log into that as well and then we can search go on to the play store put in peanut for hams and i can make a normal phone call which i'm going to try in a minute because i haven't done that yet Peanut for hams, okay? Peanut for hams, open, and then we can start downloading. Oh, it's already there. So you get the idea that the point behind buying a, a unit, a, quite an expensive unit, or, you know, rather than buy the Alens HD1, which is still a very good radio, is you've got everything in one box. You can take it anywhere with you in the world, put a SIM card in it, yeah, and you can talk to all your DMR contacts. Part of the R Finder system is... The thing that makes it quite famous is is the when you hit the WWRD Worldwide Repeater Database, which we'll put here, and there are tablets that do this as well. You can just select one you like, set parameters. So anywhere you are in the world, it will use your GPS location and it will say to you, right, okay, well this is you're in this country. These are your nearest repeaters. Choose the one you want by frequency, distance, or call. Yeah. And I'll set it for you. Same goes for DMR. And the other thing is with a radio like the R Finder is your memories. Now you need, normally need to save your memories, use a code plug, all that backup from a code plug. Well, if you go into memory mode on the R Finder and go R Finder Net, where is it? Memories here. And it's switch. These are my memories. Now, they are broken down into zones, and you can do this on your PC. You don't actually have to do it on the radio, but it's so easy to do it. So look, restore from the cloud. If I hit restore from the cloud, it's going to bring in the memories that I put in the cloud. But this is a, this is all part of the, 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 the I think it's $12 subscription. There is more items that you can do with that subscription. But anyway, or I can just save my current memories that are on this radio, uh, and I can change them as I go along to the cloud so I can import that and if I buy another radio another RF finder radio or tablet then I can do this you know the, the memories are always there and let's just go to a channel like so let's just say choose that I'll come out of memory mode a minute right, let's just go sorry about this that's like
Right, sorry about that, I, slight hiccup. So tap the screen and look, we can set all the frequencies now. Frequencies, we can set DMR mode, FM narrow, FM wide, color code, time slot, talk group number, and so on and so on. It's all there at hand. And that's the point. The reason you, you do spend more money initially, but it saves you. The idea behind it is that it saves you a lot of time. Yeah, Joe. Okay, well, uh, good afternoon. Um, it's sounding good here in Ontario, California. Um, very nice hotspot uh, there kind of by like DV that. Mega. Very in the morning here. And, uh, uh, I've gone to sleep. And also, I'll just get out here and turn on some uh, some radios and see what's going on uh, on the HF bands and over here on uh, 91. So, you can actually uh, turn the radio uh, off, look, and then turn it back on. Call. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get a cup of coffee going and wake up here. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get it on 878 on a high star. Let's go to dvmega.co.uk. Uh, back on you, Joe. He's Maybe got some new features coming on his hotspots as well soon. When you TX, it is a, a, a red TX on the... 6 nice. Let's turn down the Aylands HD1. The other thing I can do is I can tap here. And it's now a little... I can change channel, basically, within the zones. And you can have several zones. And you can import all kinds of files, marine, and I think you can do GMRS which is valid in America. And, you know, there's a lot of scope for, for fun here. You've got a DTMF keypad there as well. Options, volume boost, mic gain, updates, updates automatically. Look down the menu here. APRS, it's got APRS built into it. Let's go down some of these messages. Oh yeah, community messages. I'll find a network where you can talk to each other, see where each other is. DMR IP settings, you can select, you know, you can select which server you're going to use at the moment. It's on United States. Filter, propagation, call sign lookup, location, QRG offsets, that's like your BER offsets. And lots more settings and on and on and on. So I like it, you know. But you do pay for the privilege, which is, I'd rather have it free. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best. Bye for now.